Hello, my name is Dean Alhoss and today I will be teaching you how to construct the purchases day book and to enter the transactions into the double entry system. The purchases day book is the second book of original entry. If you remember, all businesses will have various transactions which will need to be recorded in one of the seven books of original entry by the bookkeeper. So in this case, the bookkeeper would be recording the credit purchases from our suppliers into the purchases day book. So basically any stock or inventory uh, of toy trains that we buy from our supplier to put into our shop to sell on to our customers would originally be recorded in the purchases day book. So when the buyer Villa Market Limited receives the invoice from the seller, in this case GLT Fruits Limited, for the amounts that they owe of $1,008, they will need to keep a track of which suppliers they owe money to. Of course, the buyer will want to keep a track of this to make sure that the supplier or the creditor actually charges them the correct amount of money. So in this case, we bought 21 boxes of cherries, 5 boxes of apples, and 6 boxes of tomatoes. And so the buyer would record in their purchases day book that they purchased inventory of $1,008. And also during the month on the 27th of June from our Simpson, they purchased another $592. So in total, the purchases from creditors who we will pay back at a later date is $1,600. It's important to remember that the purchases day book is only for creditors of stock or inventory. So as discussed, the total purchases for the month of June was $1,600. That will be entered on the debit side of your purchases or inventory account in the general ledger which contains all the T accounts, except for the creditors and the debtors. In this case, the creditors will go into the purchases ledger. The creditors of what? The creditors of stock or inventory. So again, from the sales day book, we had two creditors, Villa and Simpson. And because they sent goods to us, the amount of goods that they sent of $1,008 and $592 will be credited to each of their individual accounts. And then rather than doing two debit entries here, we simply put the total credit purchases of inventory for the month, which was $1,600. Thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait around for the next video to load up in the playlist. And remember, if you are finding what we do useful, then please hit the like button.